Hey everyone, it's Scott here and... Hi guys, and my name's Adam. You guys have seen me before because me and my dad did a video before. And this is the Scott Aromatico Fragrance Channel and I'm joined by my good buddy Adam. I am so excited to be joining him today. And by the way, happy belated Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Thank you so much for joining me today. It really means the world that you took time out of your busy schedule to join me. And I thought this would be a fun way to spend Father's Day with one of my sons. The other one of them is running around here somewhere and my daughter's off doing things as well. So today I thought Adam would join me and we would do this amazing video. Well, as you can tell from the thumbnail, guys, we are doing a very special video. This is from a fragrance influencer, a YouTuber named Cam Bird. I know you guys have heard of him. He's a huge, huge fragrance reviewer. He's got his own fragrance company called Coastal Carolina Parfums, and I am really excited about it because me and little Aromatico, we live right here in the Carolinas, and so Cam is a neighbor of mine, and we love it here in the Carolinas, and so I'm really excited to be reviewing this offering because if anybody knows anything about the South, one of the huge traditions here in the South is we're kind of laid back, and we really love our sweet tea, right? Sweet tea tastes delicious. And so I was really excited to get my nose on this wonderful sweet tea fragrance. But it's not just sweet tea, it's peach tea fragrance. It's a sweet peach tea fragrance. And peaches grow a plenty down here. They grow all over Georgia and they grow really close to where I'm living. There's a big community in Gaffney that grows a lot of peaches as well. So I'm really excited to bring you this fragrance. So instead of me talking so much, let's go ahead and dive right in. Right, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, this fragrance is the brand new 2022 release called Southern Peach Tea. And this one, spoiler alert, is really, really nice. Let me put the bottle on the screen so you guys can see what this looks like. Now this is the 15 ml. It's 37.50. I'll put the big bottle on the screen as well. And that's a 50 ml and that's going to be $135. Okay. Now, before I spray the fragrance for me and Adam to try out, let me go ahead and put the, the full bottle presentation on the screen and I will read you the notes. All right, in the top, we've got bergamot, orange, and blood orange. We've got spicy cardamom, spicy and nutty coriander, and then we've got that rich, fruity, sweet jasmine. Then we've got osmanthus, which gives it a fruity fuzziness, sweet tea, and of course, that Georgia peach. Then as the fragrance starts to dry down, we pick up the fig, vanilla, musk, amber, and guaiac wood. All right, here we go, buddy. I'm going to give you the honors and give you the first spray in your hand and just be spraying it and think about how it smells and I'll spray it, talk a little bit, and then ask you your opinion, okay? Let's go ahead and spray your arm. Let it dry down a little bit and then we'll, I'll come back and ask you some questions. Ooh, smells good, right? Mm -hmm. Before you even get it to your nose. Man, this is so good. I love, love, love this fragrance because I've already worn it a bunch of times. And I got to be honest with you, since I have received this package, my wife has stolen this fragrance a ton of times and with good reason. Because, man, this is just, this is just a happy-go-lucky, awesome, laid-back, fun, flirty, just amazing, sweet fragrance, right? This one is so good. Right away, you're getting this like bright freshness, and that's going to be coming from the citrus. It's going to be coming from the bergamot, the orange, and what I, the note I really pick up, Adam, is this note called blood orange. And that note is really, really prevalent right off the top that makes this nice and fresh. Do you think so? Mm, this, I smell like orangey vanilla. Yeah, me. yes, because there is definitely vanilla in the base. So that's a good nose. But I really love the bright, fresh airiness right out of the gate. But then it's got this perfect balance of spiciness and tartness. This is like the perfect yin and yang fragrance because right away you're just getting this really juicy, sweet fruitiness coming from the citrus. And then you're getting this nice almost tartness and spiciness coming from the coriander and the cardamom. It is so amazing. But let's be honest, the dominant notes in this fragrance are the sweet tea and the peaches. The peaches are so juicy. And I'm going to go out on a limb, and you guys can kill me in the comments if you want to. This might be one of the best peach fragrances I've ever gotten my nose on. Now, I don't have a full bottle presentation, but I do have a decant of Tom Ford's Bitter Peach, 
And I will tell you, I liked that fragrance when I first smelled it, but then as I started getting used to it and started wearing it a little bit more, I don't know, it just became a little bit cloying for me. By the way, I do like to take Bitter Peach and um, I like to blend it with uh, Effing Fabulous. I think that's a perfect combination if you guys have never tried that. But anyways, it's just a little bit too sweet and too um, feminine for me because there's a lot of florals in it. And so... I would say it's okay. Yeah, it's just okay. You've smelled that one before too. But this one, I don't know. This one hits the mark for me. And I think it's because of the spiciness. I think it is because of that sweet tea note in here. But I really, really love the dry down as well. Because as this fragrance starts to dry down, I really pick up a nice earthiness coming from the Gaiac wood, and I really pick up that fig note, and it's just balanced out with a nice, smooth sweetness coming from the vanilla. To me, it, um, the spice t makes it good to me. Yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's not, it's not like real, yeah. not that there's anything wrong with men wearing feminine fragrances, but it does give it a nice uh, masculine appeal. But with that being said, I feel like a woman and a man could both wear this fragrance, right? And then what I also pick up when this fragrance started to dry down, you know, maybe the three or four hour mark, I started picking up maybe like something like a slight, almost leather smell to it, but not like in your face, overpowering, just a nice smooth leather transition in the dry down. So guys, I really love this fragrance. It is so, so good. And like I said, the tea and the peach are the star of the show. There's so much going on with this fragrance. It's really artistically artistic and well done but the tea and the peach are the star of the show like i said the dry down the fig really comes out it's the perfect unisex fragrance and i will say i mean i already said it but this is probably one of my favorite peach fragrances i own and i own like three or four and my wife really loves this one too she said it's her favorite as well so yeah this one's my favorite too this one's your favorite too you like this one mm -hmm. you can hold it if you want to yeah, it's really, really good. And like I said, it is the perfect yin and yang fragrance because just everything complements itself. Like it's not too in your face sweet, but it's not too spicy. It's just got enough to make a woman really like this, but also enough for a man to like it with the woodiness and almost that leather vibe I'm picking up um, on the dry down. So, okay, my only complaint, if I was going to have a complaint, I got to keep all my reviews honest. He's got a big YouTube channel, by the way. Check the link down below. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to Coastal Carolina Parfum so you can pick this one up as well. I'll leave a link for all that down below. But my only complaint is, is this fragrance really only projected about an arm's length and it's such an addicting fragrance and it's so gorgeous that I wanted it to have a little bit bigger scent bubble than that. And it really only lasted for about an hour and a half to two hours on my skin every time I was wearing it. And then right around the two hour mark, it was really starting to dry down and turn more of into a skin scent. And when it turned to that skin scent, that was really where I was picking up the fig and the Gaiac wood and a little bit of that leather nuances that I was picking up. And I, I could smell the fragrance. If I put my you know, hand up to my nose, I could smell it well into the six hour mark, but it just wasn't projecting unless of course, and I can be honest, you know, I was going anosmic to it, but I think my wife said the same thing. She really wasn't picking it up all that long. So I'm gonna say, this really projects and performs for about a two hour mark, you know, just about a, an arm's length projection, not a huge uh, bubble. So it's not gonna choke out people in the room. So that's kind of good. And then it just lasts for about six hours. So this fragrance to me is perfect for the spring, perfect for the summer, and maybe well into the fall as well. It is a fun, flirty fragrance. It's, it, it manages to be fun, flirty, but also relaxing and just laid back and kicked back for the perfect hot southern day and let me tell you we get some hot days here so there you have it guys that is my review on coastal carolina perfume southern peach tea i really loved this fragrance guys it's a good one wish it performed a little bit better wish it lasts a little bit longer but hey for a scent it's an amazing scent and you know sometimes that's all that matters sometimes the performance you know isn't all that big of a deal especially for these prices like i said 15 ml 38 bucks 50 ml 135 dollars you guys can't beat that for a fragrance that's blended this well so there you have it that's what i think what do you think uh, buddy do you, what do you give it two thumbs up or one thumb up i'll give it two two thumbs up love the um presentation i think the presentation is really cool on the bottle 
And uh, so all in all, I think it's a good grab if you guys want to get this for the summertime. I don't think you'll be sorry. And this is a fragrance that you and the missus can share, or you can get her a bottle, or she can you, you know both get your own bottle. It's priced good enough that you can do that. So guys, check it out. Check out Cam. Check out his YouTube channel. His YouTube channel is growing fast. Check him out over there on Instagram, and also check out Coastal Carolina Parfums. Guys, you won't be sorry. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, happy belated Father's Day. Thank you, Adam, so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. You made the video so much better by being here. So you made good. And you made the video handsome because you're here. So thank you, buddy, so much. And, guys, we will see you next time. I hope wherever you are, you're finding peace and happiness. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Love. Ciao. Ciao.